today's official signing of a joint declaration of intent between Parliament and the UN signifies a key milestone in our continued effort to accelerate the 2030 agenda towards achieving the Sustainable Development Goals. The journey that brought us here has been uh, one of the continued active collab collaboration and engagement, which we aim to further strengthen through the formalization of this partnership agreement here today with the people of Belize at the center of our actions. Of course, the signing ceremony today is yet the start of another chapter in this journey, and I think more important mm -hmm. even. Um, in first setting the background, I would like to share uh, some key notes um, on the importance of partnership to the United Nations system. These remain at the core of the, SD of the SDGs and the 2030 Agenda. They have um, a an, an, uh, development goal by themselves, non number 17. It really started as far back as 2021, as she made note in her remarks the opportunity for us to at least first present to the parliament, the House and the Senate the work of the UN country team in Belize. And it is through that initiative that the conversations really began to see how else could we collaborate. As Madam President in her welcome remarks, I thought made very clear, the parliament, House and Senate is more than just what we see on a rowdy Friday or on a rowdy Tuesday. Maybe not so much Tuesday, Madam President, as you mentioned. It is more than that. That is obviously the legislature aspect of it on those days are particularly important. But there is a role, an obligation, a responsibility of the presiding officers of both chambers to ensure that members of parliament are equipped with the tools for them to be the best that they can be in Parliament for their constituencies. 